There are a lot of capes on Minecraft, some rare and some not. But one thing for sure is that everyone without a cape wants to have one. And unknown to many people is the fact that a lot of capes on Minecraft can still be obtained right now, meaning after this video you could go away and get yourself a super rare cape. So today, I'm going to be talking about how you can get a cape on Minecraft. There are three capes on Minecraft that almost everyone will know about. The capes are the Migration Cape for migrating your Minecraft Java account to Microsoft, the Vanilla Cape for purchasing both Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock separately before they came one purchase bundled together, and the newer Blossom Cape for voting in the 2023 mob vote. These capes are known for being the common capes, the capes that a very large majority of the Minecraft community has. Apart from me, because I have none of them. But anyway, I bet 50% of the Minecraft players watching this video have the Migration Cape, because roughly over 4 million people have it. These capes were really easy to get, if you are lucky or knew the future. Like, Mojang has never given us a cape for voting in a mob vote before, but now they suddenly do? And how are we supposed to know that if we bought the other version of Minecraft before a certain date, we'd get a cape for that? But anyways, these capes were the easiest capes to get, and required pretty much no effort. But if you didn't get them in the past, you'll never get them again. So let's carry on to the capes which you can actually get today. There are technically three capes that are completely obtainable right now if you are ready to put in the effort. And the surprising thing is that these capes are extremely rare. They all have roughly less than 350 players who have them. So, the three capes you can get right now are the Realms Mapmaker Cape, the Majira Moderator Cape, and the Mojang Studios Cape. This may sound unbelievable, but hear me out. Let's start with the Realms Mapmaker Cape. The requirements to get the cape are having 8 points in the Minecraft Realms content creation program. A sentence from the site states, Once a creator has received 8 points, they become eligible to obtain a mapmaker cape. The way to earn points in this program is to create outstanding maps for realms. For points, the map style goes like this. World templates award 2 points, inspiration maps award 3 points, Minigames, Experiences, and Adventures award 4 points. And also, to be awarded points for a map, you must be listed as a primary creator on the map during the time of publication. Now, this sounds easy, right? Just make a few maps for realms and then there you go. But the maps you create have to be of the highest quality imaginable. I'm talking, you'll have to spend months on end perfectly crafting and refining just one map, and then you'll have to do it all over again for multiple other maps. There's a sentence in the guidelines that literally states, please don't see submitting maps as an easy way to get a cape. But if you do truly enjoy creating Minecraft maps, this could be a fun long term project for you. So if you are interested, the guidelines for obtaining the Realms Mapmaker cape will be in the description. But anyways, on to the next cape. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, liking and subscribing would be really appreciated. The second cape that you could try and get right now is the Majira Moderator Cape. If you don't know what Majira is, it's basically the official name for the Minecraft Bug Tracker. The Minecraft Bug Tracker is a service that allows you to upload bugs you have found in Minecraft and get them fixed in future updates. With any site like this, Majira needs moderators to manage all of the bug reports that the website receives. This is not a paid position, and is done by people who actually enjoy sifting through hundreds of bug reports daily and finding ones that are actually relevant. If you really wanted the cape that much though, the way to become a Majira moderator is by being extremely active and helpful on the bug tracker. The moderator position on Majira is not a position that is applied for, but is instead a position that you are asked to take on. And because of that, I do not recommend trying to become a Majira moderator for the sole purpose of getting a cape, because it could take years and thousands of comments before you're even considered for the moderator position. But at least getting this cape is feasible, unlike the next one. Now if you thought those other two capes were hard to get, then you aren't ready for this one. 
The Mojang Studios cape is given to every employee at Mojang, meaning you would have to get a job there to obtain this cape. But if you think you have what it takes to be employed by Mojang, the page to submit a job application to Mojang will be linked in the description. Good luck! At the end of the day, the effort required to get any of the capes mentioned in this video is otherworldly. With the Majira cape, it's pretty much down to luck whether you get it or not, so I'd say if your sole purpose in life for the next few months was to get a cape on Minecraft Java, I think you should go for the Realms cape. But I have a question for you, do you have a cape? If so, which? I'd love to hear about your cape collection down in the comments. But anyways, thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you next time.